Hey Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We are connecting with your energies to see what's going on this weekend and how we can support your journey. So let's check in and get you some messages, shall we? Just want to say thank you for being here. Awesome to connect. As always, you're welcome to join our free membership the Solvine Tribe. It's the first link below in the description box. It's where you can get connected each week, plugged in to help support your spiritual journey. We are going to be making some cool changes um, over the next month or so uh, with what we are producing uh, in terms of, again, your spiritual journey, how to get you into a really strong connected path where you feel aligned, where you feel supported and really empowered on this journey, what, whatever's coming up for you, whether it's, you know, a something personal that you're trying to uncover within yourself, like your purpose um, or what you should be doing, your calling. It could be related to relationships and working through that. Um, it could be your career so or money uh, journey. So there's a lot there that um, we're going to be diving into and those who also are ready to really accelerate ahead if they want to create a new business or take their expertise and skills into something quite profound and do something special there. So make sure that you're subscribed to get the up dates. Uh, again, it's the first link in the description box below. All right, guys. So we have got the great gathering, the inner temple leap, the initiation. Whoa. I feel like we just kind of were talking about this. Uh, and that's what I feel is happening. And what I mean by talking about this is like taking this next step, recognizing that things are coming together for you, right? At the end of the day, importantly, it's Right now, you might be feeling you're doing things quite alone or it's introspective. It's just you and your thoughts, you and your feelings and working towards what's next. And sometimes it can feel very lonely, even though you may not feel alone as such. It's just like you don't have anyone to talk to, perhaps to bounce ideas Um share what's going on. And that connection is incredibly important for our soul. We need that, right? We need that for our soul, for our en energy. And I feel right now, this is what's starting to happen is that you're calling in whatever you had to kind of, sh you know, brush off um, over the last few months to kind of get rid of the dead weight or the, the little pricks that you may be feeling, um, you know, uh, like thorns is what I, what I'm sensing here. It's kind of like, it's time to, to take them out and, and recognize that they have no power anymore. And it's now bringing in this awesome energy of people that are on a similar mission to you, that are on a similar vibration to you. They want to accelerate. They want to be uplifted. They want to be inspired. And I feel this is what's happening. There's going to be a significant divide between those that bring the light, that bring the power and want to make a difference on this planet versus the ones that are sucking the soul and life energy out of people because they can't get out. You know, they kind of got, they're kind of trapped in, in the hell of the world. And um, sadly, you know, they're just people that get taken over spiritually uh, unhealthily. So, you know, I feel right now is making a choice on, on where you want to be in your life and being around those people, places and things to support that. With the inner temple too, again, this is tuning into your heart space, tuning into where you feel called, where you feel led. You don't get these desires and ideas just by chance. This is something that is gifted to you. This is something that your soul heart is calling on you. And I feel like this is part of your journey, spiritual journey to connect into the divine, to connect into spirit and God on what you're meant to be doing here, what your gifts are. They are special to you. Your story, your journey is special because it's been given to you. There is uniqueness there and, um, you know, something to be shared with the world. So I feel like this is part of, part of your journey right now, the depths that you may be going into and learning about yourself, learning, you know, whatever it is in terms of your higher power as well and connecting into that. Because once we kind of get take these little steps here, it's then, okay, well, go after what you want. It's not being afraid anymore, but it's also saying that the universe will catch you. And what I think is really cool about this is that God, the universe, again, your higher power is always steps ahead, is always steps ahead of what it is that you're seeking, desiring, calling in because it's creating the path for you, right? At the end of the day, you have free will, um, absolutely free will. And you can make some great choices. Sometimes we can make boo-boos and sometimes we can get ourselves selves into a deep hole that we wish we didn't go down. But that little, that little devil energy, that little Satan energy, 
kind of like, oh, this is exciting. Oh, I'm going to just try a little bit more. It doesn't seem that bad. Oh, you know, and there's more things that catch your eye, but we've missed we've missed the mark here and getting back to what, what we're feeling called to do, where we're feeling called to be and our discernment in that because it can be pretty, pretty tricky when we're vulnerable, right? Uh, we get those energies that it's the, the, the spiritual warfare that can come in. And that's not to scare you guys. Please know that this is about your power and, you know, um, tuning into your soul, tuning into your heart and taking the steps towards the things that do light you up and what makes sense for you. Not things that are trying to distract you and pull you in a direction with hope, dangling carrots and everything else. What's meant for you is meant for you, but you get to choose which path you want to go to get there or you just may not choose it at all. So I just think that there's a, a lot of power that you have and it's protecting your what's yours, you know, your divine right here. And um, I just feel with this leap forward and the initiation is crossing the threshold of becoming what you want to be. So this is very purpose devotional uh, work here. And um, it's very, very powerful Pisces. So um, I know I mentioned those things in between and I mentioned these things in between about your spirit and your path and about the things of distraction because they're so very real. When you've got big things to do, that energy is going to challenge you more and more to stop you, to, you know, distract you, to get you to go the wrong way. And I just think right now, this is part of the great gathering. This is part of knowing who your tribe is and and, and which which part of the world do you want to live in the light or you want to keep sitting in the darkness when because we all meet darkness at some point that's the only way we know the light right but we're all going to go through challenges we're all going to go through situations but it's how we then deal with the situation um, and can support ourselves and it's finding also the right people that can keep us in that headspace when times are tough that can keep us moving forward in the light feeling the light and recognizing that we are allowed to feel those good things that we are allowed to be free from things that are hurting us, not supporting us and so on. So I just want to bring that up because I feel like it's um, incredibly important right now. Okay. As part of the message, no idea it was going to go this way, but Hey, so let's have some, let's have some fun Pisces connect in, see what's going down and how we can support you right now. What's going on for our beautiful Pisces. Okay. So we have got the Muse of Inspiration, which is like the King of Wands. We have the Six of Emotions, the World Energy, and the Eight of Voices. Let's get one more. I think oh, we already have one. Okay. Perfect. So Pisces. The weekend as we're moving through into a new week, what we're again recognizing, I feel like you're just going to have a bit of a turn of events or some form of like positive inspiration that's going to come towards you. Okay. Uh, with this six of emotions in the world energy, this could be something from an old chapter or connection that you may um someone that may come in and want to talk to you about a potential of something. Um, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper to see what this is, but I just, I'm getting a sense. Someone's going to reach out to you uh, or you're going to be inspired about something that you once did that really lit you up, that really got you excited, that you were really passionate about. And maybe it didn't come full circle or you didn't take the full step. Okay. Um, but these are the things they're talking about of coming together. I think, this year is really about, it's a foundational year for your significant future, for your life, okay? And this year is the start of January or as we're in January right now is clearing clearing the space. And you're going to find that over the next couple of months, clearing the space, but it's 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 moving into alignment for you, going towards the things that you want to do, recognizing what you don't want to do as part of that too. Cause I think that's always fun. We start something going, I thought I really wanted to do this and I actually don't. And that's okay. It's a, it's, I think this is a reset year, right? A reset year of new people, new communities, new friends, new groups. And I feel like there's something here that you may have just taken a long way around or had to learn a significant part of your journey and lesson, but whatever's happening next with this world energy is something is expanding. Something is opening 
opening up here. And I feel it's about something new that you're going to do. For some of you, this could be a connection with someone that you once knew that is very inspirational and kind of getting back on track there, whatever that connection is, or that mentor or that guide or something. But what I can see as well is just this little bit of fear of taking this leap forward or step forward on what you're feeling called to do. Um, it could be in terms of like whether you can do it, whether you can make it, is this a possibility and, or just the scary part of the unknown at the end of the day. And I, I feel like once you kind of break through that and keep trusting that the universe will catch you, that this queen of materials is going to show up pretty significantly for you in the sense of your own energy and your own support system with this crossing the threshold. It's like you will feel strong. You will feel grounded. You will feel so much that you've got this. And I think you're going to be financially supported and rewarded as well. It's like the gateways are going to open. Okay. Once you cross through, once you if you're, if you're still in a little bit of a darkness or still a little bit unsure on the path forward, it's like you're going to connect to the light at the end of the tunnel and the beauty on the other side. But it's not just like, hey, I've landed. It's it's a journey. But the journey is where you reap the benefits, the rewards, and get to take that experience to do great things with. So let's <coughs> – excuse me. Dive a little bit deeper about this muse of inspiration. What do we need to know? Thank you. Yeah, see, some communication. I really do feel that someone um, coming towards you, want to connect with you or something moving forward here, Pisces, on a situation that <clears throat> you've been wanting, like something that you've been wanting to do. And I think it's been in your DNA like um, for a long time, this something. And maybe it was 10 years ago. Maybe it was, you know, when you were a young kid and just things that you enjoyed doing or just came natural to you. And I feel like um, a part of this, part of you, this journey, this experience or knowing, I feel like it's coming back around that you get to share this with, yes, potentially the world, but putting it out there into the universe and see what comes back, you know, and how you can help support people, serve people with your gifts and talents. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something moving forward here. The six of emotions, we have got the magician, the seven of materials and the the priestess see and this is just confirmation it's like you've got everything you need to do this something that you want to do so naturally something's coming towards you to push this forward eight of inspiration is eight of wands it's pushing something forward there's news acceleration okay let's giddy up you know and the six of emotions is something from our past that that emotionally connects us um and the magician with the seven of materials and the priestess is again this knowing You've got some knowing here, Pisces, and amongst the knowing is something that you've done or that you've taken care of or know that when you just work on it, it just grows, it just flowers, it just blossoms, and it comes, it's like, it's a path for you. So it's, There's something about you knowing, and look, it's coming from the universe, look at this. So there's something here about having everything that you need for whatever this next chapter is for yourself. And naturally you're aligning the right people. You're aligning to your hearts. Um, it's interesting. It was saying like the, your hearts, I'm getting like music. Um, maybe that's part of the tune, but it's like your heart's calling. I don't know what music has to do with it. Maybe there's something to do with music for some of you, but the word music came in there. Um, there's something that you know, Pisces, you really, really know. And I think naturally, um, it might be on a subconscious level, right? Like it's so ingrained in your DNA, in your purpose, in your soul path, in everything that you are as a being. And it might have gone hidden for a while. This something that you're meant to be doing, or this something that you feel called to do. Uh, but I feel like this is being awakened right now on purpose, right? You had to go through something else for this to really ignite because it's like you have everything you need to get this moving forward. Okay. Let's dive in a little bit deeper and see what else we need to know with the world energy. Okay. Two of materials, the 
uh, wheel energy and five of voices. I think we had this combo yesterday, which is quite interesting um, considering, you know, I shuffle the decks um, a few times before we kick off and after I close up the, the previous um, reading. So there seems to be something here that needed to change or needs to change um, when it's come to something that you've been trying to work or work out or balance out. I don't know if this is something about finances or um, about the energy that you're putting into something or working a couple of different things. What I just feel is that something is changing here for the positive positive. Um, and with this five of voices energy, while it, you know, the five of swords can be about conflict, I do feel like it's the realization of needing to put something out there um, or someone wanting to come in and make something work here. And again, this could be a past friend, a past business person that you worked with, like someone part of your career. This could be family member, um, It could be someone that you've been unsure about what to do with. But I feel like they're coming back around. I don't know, naturally, if you're manifesting them. Because maybe, you know, sometimes people come into our lives for a reason and they go pretty quickly. And then sometimes they pop back up. It's like they just seem to come or a person just comes in our life at the right time. Um, but it needed to have space to come in. So if there's been a change in your circle, in your group, in your friendships, in your just relationships in general, you might find that something else is being called in to set you back up for success on where you're going next. Um, but there's just something interesting. I'm getting too about being gentle on yourself here. on what you're seeing as a conflict or what conflicts you're experiencing. Because it does seem like there's something that's a little unbalanced, but this is changing. And I think part of the changing also may need to be our thoughts around it. So maybe you're looking at it. Well, I don't know how to pull this off. I don't know how to make manage this. I don't know how to work this. Um, I don't know what to do with this. There could be a lot of questions that you have or you're asking yourself as part of this. Um, and what could be coming up as, as in terms of this world energy, because maybe there has been some changes and there's more changes coming and some of us don't like the, that some of us do, but amongst it all, there's still the unknown, but every day is unknown. It just, some days you might have a plan and some days just unfold as they do most of the time, but most of us have a plan or have a routine or have something set and changing that is maybe part of the evolution to getting where you need to go. And that's part of the scary thing that you may be experiencing because we are talking about a leap, but we're also talking about tuning into your heart and what it is that you're meant to be doing with a certain tribe that you're meant to be doing it with. Yeah. So I don't know if this is with this ace of voices, if this is part of, um, gaining some clarity and truth on what you're meant to be doing and now having to do something about it. Cause it seems like there was something, um, that needs to kind of end here or you might be still holding on to a little bit old narratives with this 10 of voices. Um, Maybe there's some truth of something that has ended and why this leap is incredibly important for you. Let's get another one on this 10 of voices energy. 10 of voices. What do we need to know? Muse of emotions. I mean, this is all to do with the heart. Maybe there's some truth that you had to, like there's something that you know that you need to let go of, um, but something that's keep kept you a little stuck. Um, 
and you know that this next path, this next journey is what you need, but there's a part of you that still held on to something that may have ended. And with the, I don't know, for some of you, if there's the hope of the depth or the care coming in, and maybe you're holding on to that to see if something's going to transpire or come about that you're maybe hoping for. Or it could be just getting onto the other side of what this leap is. I just want to get one more on this Muse of Emotions energy. Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know with this Muse of Emotions? Okay, yeah. Makes sense. So this could be a connection that has ended um, where there has been betrayal. Uh, and I'm saying betrayal We've got the seven of voices and the ten of voices along with the three of voices. So there's a lot of sword energy here, a lot of mental energy, um, hurts, questions that I feel there's some things that are unsettling about a situation. But I think the truth of the situation is that there is love in a situation here, a love for someone, a love for something this could be romantic. This could be like friends, family, um, a workplace. There's something here about I feel not wanting to leave something behind. But amongst that, there's also this truth of knowing that you've got to take this fresh start because that's what's going to change the game for you. This is where you're meant to be. This has happened or unfolded for a reason and it's a reason, but you've got to get the truth, the clarity and understanding for this fresh start. And this fresh start may not be easy because of all these changes in your life. But um, it's interesting, you know, especially if you're around people that you feel you're around people, but you still feel alone. That's not a great feeling. You know, you want to be around people where you feel seen and understood and accepted for who you are. And now it's like you've got the freedom to be yourself and accepted as yourself with the tribe, with the right people and where your heart's feeling called. And I think that's a part of it here is that you've got this beautiful heart, you've got this beautiful soul. And amongst it, I think you feel the depths of this change or this shift and where you could be just stalling a little bit and feeling stuck um, in the taking a leap, right? I feel you're doing it, Pisces but you're doing it with a little bit of, uh, uh, what's the word? Resistance. So you'll break free from this. I know you'll break free from this. Um, what do we need to know with this queen of materials? Yeah. Cause there, there's something, there's some new that something new that's coming in. That's very caring with this page of emotions, right? Um, Yeah, I love it. So the six of inspiration with this, um, the page of emotions and the queen of materials, this is kind of the confirmation of that taking this leap, importantly, even in your own heartbreak, that you don't deceive yourself from what someone else has done. What someone else has done, that's on them. And as much as it's impacted you or you've been collateral damage to someone else's choices and things, and you may feel betrayed, at the end of the day, why do we keep giving power to a person that has hurt us after they've already hurt us, you know, and it takes a lot of mental energy to be able to move past and shift that. I can feel you're holding on to something that someone's done to you, understandably. But this new place, this new destination, this new chapter, this new goal, this new dream, whatever it is ha that you have that you're feeling called there's something that you get to do from what you've learned over the years, Pisces, to really extend yourself into something pretty special here. But you've got to be willing to do it and take the chance on yourself, okay? And knowing that you're supported in this journey. With the initiation as well, like crossing the threshold, you're going to feel a sense of joy here, like the beginning of something really wonderful. It's like you're going to light up in a new way because you're taking care of yourself in a new way and recognizing that, again, you don't want to be in a room of people that 
are supposed to have your back, love you, support you and feel alone. That just doesn't seem right. And it's not because you're choosing to go isolate yourself or be alone. You just don't feel connected or feel appreciated or valued or heard. And I think it's understanding that the difference between that. So if you're alone when you're with people, how do you take that power and go create the life that you want to create to bring the right people in that are going to support you just as much as you give back? And I feel there's something really powerful about this because as you connect into this this new opportunity, um, whether this is love presenting itself to you, the love of something that you're doing as you're walking through and feeling that light, that sunshine, that paradise, you know, showing up for your life, you finally get that. Isn't it interesting crossing the threshold? And this one can mean a lot about crossing the line, moving across a certain something that, um, you've succeeded in, right? It's like you've succeeded in something, you're getting the recognition for something. It's like, finally, I've hit a milestone here. I've hit a dream. I've hit a goal and it wasn't easy and it's never going to be easy. You know, I want you to think of people who have the successes that they have, who've built things from the ground up or have been gifted an opportunity to do something and make it happen. They fought for that. They showed up every day. They thought about it every day. They worked hard every day to educate, to train, to practice, you know, to meet the right people. It's a, it's a long journey, but it's a journey of like a stepping stone, that ladder, getting where you need to go. And I just, there's something here about it that I know in the trials and tribulations of wherever you've been or whatever you've been doing, there's something really special happening here for you, Pisces, um, as part of this. Let's get some final messages. Um, and see what spirit wants you to know. Got a bit of a husky voice going on. I've been drinking a lot of water, so I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe someone needs to share their voice a little bit, Pisces. Let's get a couple more. Thank you, spirit. Two more. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ooh, beautiful. So no expectations. I think we had this show up for you um, yesterday as well. This is really interesting with a key and no expectations. That's a pretty powerful thing. I want you to think of something, again, I feel this is a gift, an opportunity for you to do something. And I think sometimes these things become even more amazing or special when you're not creating what it's supposed to be like and allowing it to be what it needs to be and going in with an open heart and open mind towards a situation. So when you unlock it or when it shows up and, and you're meant to connect with this thing, place, person, situation, that it just has a beautiful power because you've allowed it to be, you've allowed spirit to do its thing, you know, and with service and victory, like I said here, again, there's something here that you're meant to be doing, whether it's with your your, your own skills, talents, something that you've learned on your journey, for, like things from your past, collect the experiences, collect your great insights. There's a lot that you have to offer here, Pisces. And I do feel this is coming back around that you get to share this message, this story, or this experience in some way. I don't know, maybe some of you are thinking about, you know, creating a business, starting a podcast, getting on YouTube, writing a book, whatever that is. This is not the time to just think about it anymore. This is now the the chance of spirit saying, I'm going to catch you, but you've got to be willing to take the leap because I'll come with you. Um, again, they're already steps ahead, but it's the the trust and the knowingness that you're just going to do it because this is your time. This is your comeback, you know, and the victory energy too. Again, you've got victory twice here with the outcome. So there's something pretty special happening here, something that I feel you're being called to do. You may not be sure where you're being led right now, but wherever you're being led 
is going to be support for the world, support for someone, for, for people, for situations. Like you're being called right now because people need you for something and you're missing the mark by being worried about just how you're feeling. I want you to think about how you can help and transform other people because that's going to be the huge difference here of when you put the energy into other things and naturally you're going to heal and make great strides forward yourself. You're going to feel the victory in it in more ways than one because you get to help other people and change people's lives, support other people, make other people feel good, confident. I mean, I don't know what type of work you do, but everyone you get to connect with is an opportunity to make a difference, no matter what it is. Some of our work might be more meaningful than others, um, you know, but every everything can make a difference from, you know, if you're selling, I call it a jumper, but like if you sell sweaters, for example, and it has some meaning behind it, whether it makes someone feel cozy, whether it makes someone feel good, like wearing it, you know, that you're making a change to that person. If you're like a counselor or a therapist or want to talk about, you know, your own journey of a relationship or something like that, someone may need to hear those messages. Someone may need someone to lean on. So just don't underestimate your journey and how you can help people because I feel this is about you helping others. And it's something that you've learned along the way and something that comes natural to you that puts you on a natural high that just the time goes by so quickly and when you're doing that thing that you love doing and I just feel here again um, this is going to be successful whatever it is but you've got to be willing to take this chance the key is here um, are you willing you know to catch it Pisces I think it is you know right now so I'm going to leave that with you, dear ones. Appreciate you being here. I feel like this was like a bit of a um, a bit of a tough love energy for you from spirit because really wants to set you up for success forward. So I don't know if this is something to journal on, guys, um, or connect in on what that is, and you know take take that leap kind of thing that is going to just remember like spirit's going to support you, universe is support you, God's going to support you. So are you ready to take a chance on yourself? You know, I'm going to leave that with you. Bye now.